Welcome to the Valet Process Video Guide. Today, you will watch and learn the entire process of a valet drop-off and pickup, from the time a customer arrives to when he or she leaves. You will also learn how to service and speak to a customer. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we get to the step-by-step -step video tutorial, Let's go over some general rules when it comes to being a professional valet driver. Always run quickly to retrieve a car, keys, or attend to a customer. But drive slowly and carefully. The last thing you want is to cause an accident. If you don't know how to drive a stick shift, that's okay. Let the teammate or on-duty manager that does know how to drive a manual take the customer's vehicle. However, if no one on duty can properly drive a manual, kindly tell the customer that you are uncomfortable driving his or her car, but you will hold on to his or her keys while they are inside. Never, and we cannot stress this enough, never throw a valet ticket on the floor of a vehicle or ground. Once you are done with the ticket, throw it in the trash. Finally, you should always hold open vehicle doors for a customer and their passengers and should work as a team to accomplish this. Moreover, you should open the door of the establishment for ladies as well. Now, let's get into the step-by-step -step video tutorial. When a customer is driving up to the pickup drop-off area, Please direct him or her where to park by waving your hands to the appropriate spot. As soon as the driver parks his or her vehicle, greet them with a smile, open the door, and hand them the top of the ticket. Also, make sure you ask the customer if the keys of the vehicle are inside. Once the customer has exited the vehicle, Put the bottom of the ticket in the door frame on the inside of the car and drive off carefully. Here's how it should look and sound. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good, uh, car in park? Put her in park right now. All right, how you doing today? Good, not bad. Do I get a ticket? Yes, you do. Are the keys in the car? Yes, sir. All right, then you're all set. Have Thank a good time. Thank you so much. No problem. I'm gonna force a few. Next, park the vehicle in a parking spot in a designated lane. Remember, always park a vehicle in a parking spot. Once you've made sure the vehicle is in park and all of the windows are rolled up, grab the ticket from the door and fill it out in order as instructed. If it is dark and you need light, open the door of the vehicle. Never turn on a light in a customer's vehicle if it is not already on. Once you've filled out the ticket, turn off the vehicle, attach the keys to the ticket, make sure they're secure, close the door, make sure it is locked, and run to the key rack. Once you get to the key rack, make sure the ticket is properly attached to the key and place it on the rack as instructed. Once time has passed and the same customer returns, kindly ask him or her for the top of the ticket, quickly find the matching ticket on the rack, grab it and inform them you will be right back and run to the correct vehicle. If they had chosen to keep their keys, ask for their keys. Before you stick the key in the ignition, separate the ticket from the key. Turn on the vehicle and carefully drive to the waiting customer in the pickup area. Once you have arrived to the pickup area, exit the vehicle quickly and hold the door open for the customer. As soon as they've entered the vehicle, tell them to have a good afternoon or evening, close the door, and allow them to drive off. This is how the process should look and sound. Yeah. Hey, you ready to go, sir? Yes, I am. You got a ticket on you? I believe I do. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'll be right back with the car. Okay. All right, 
Alright, so you all set? Thank you. No problem. Have a good evening. This concludes the valet process video guide. If you forgot any of the information, please go back and rewatch the video. If you have any questions regarding the valet process that were not covered in this video, please ask your on-duty manager. As always, run fast and drive slow. Thank you and enjoy your shift.